my small fully automated mushroom fruiting chamber is now fully operational. The main frame is a plastic three tier shelving, cut it down to two tier for easy operation and maintenance. It is covered all around by a polyfilm reinforced with a duct tape. And the door has an overlapping layer to minimize the escape of moisture and maintain humidity. The cover is secured by a magnet, two on the sides and three at the bottom, secured by a duct tape. For easy opening and also closing. The shelves are perforated to help distribute the moisture evenly. Inside is an LED light that is on for 8 hours and off the rest of the day. You can see the uh, humidifier is working. There is a tubing connected to external humidifier. And the humidifier is controlled by a humidifier regulator. Inside also is a 4-inch duct fan that regulates the amount of carbon dioxide. The mushroom, as they grow, they generate a lot of carbon dioxide and it impairs the growth of the mushroom. With a duct fan that helps cut down on the amount of carbon dioxide and promotes the growth of the mushrooms. Inside the fruiting chamber, I have pink and yellow oyster mushrooms and also lion mane's mushroom in a one half gallon container. At the bottom of the rack is a boot tray that helps collect the water as well as the moisture coming out of the fruiting chamber. Here is the uh, external humidifier with a uh, tubings connected to a uh, fruiting chamber. And the humidifier is plugged into a humidifier regulator that maintains the humidity between 85 to 90 percent. That seems to be the ideal number to promote the growth of the mushroom. The 4-inch uh, duct fan is connected to aluminum tubings and to the contraption in a bucket that helps uh, collect the moisture and the water coming out of the fruiting chamber. And also, I installed a vent outside with a pre-filter to prevent the molds or spores or any uh, bad elements to come out of the fruiting chamber and spread into the room.